Good evening, once again ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of the DCG League season. I've caught some dragon and I'm going solo today, I do not have a fellow co-caster with me, but all is well. This is going to be a rather simple game 19 today, we have Costco starting off as the first and really the only main killer whose score is going to count, uh, because we had three killers part of this group who forfeited earlier during the, tournament, during the league season, so we will have a few fillers for them. Um, the first lobby has just uh, readied up, the game is starting to load in, this is uh, still the round 5 weekend where we are playing on Rancid Abattoir, and uh, we've also had to have a filler because Ploop was meant to be playing this one, but obviously she forfeited as well, so we've actually got Mikkel uh, filling in for that survivor slot, and we have Reborn, Jimmy the 13th, and Purple as the main survivors whose scores are on the line here. He's going to play the hag. And we saw a great hag performance yesterday from um, from Apex, of course. 29.6k points playing against the survivor side that consisted of JT and Applesauce and Jimmy the 13th as a stand-in. As well as, who was it? I think it was Tavion. Yeah, it was Tavion. Okay, so he's already placing a couple of traps in the middle area. I don't know if he's chosen a particular strategy. Purple is working... A generator where all oh, three people on the same generator and reborn is vaulting window over window she's letting them know that she's letting Costco know that they're there reborn's just sandbagging these survivors and Mikkel is point that's Mikkel pointing to her And Costco gets a hit on Reborn. Gets a hit on Mikkel with a Phantasm attack. And he warps back again to find that it was Purple who triggered his trap. Now Jimmy is working a generator on his own. I think they're probably going to... I mean, if Reborn is purposefully vaulting over window and window or back and forth again, I think she's just going to be a bit of a causing a bit of mayhem just for her own fun I guess so maybe the survivors are better off splitting up and doing generators on their own to try and mitigate whatever damage or chaos reborn might cause Costco does get stunned though by purple all four, four survivors are injured by the way Looks like Purple's broken away from uh, from Costco. Mikkel is being healed. And I guess they're double heal now. I mean, Jimmy and Purple both are there. Now Purple's the one who's being healed. And they're all just showing the love whilst Reborn has found a yellow toolbox from that chest in the uh, basement. And... <laughs> Causing all the confusion, she's the one most likely to be found at the moment by Costco. Doesn't look as though he's actually spotted her, and that's the first gen pop, that's right in the middle of the map. And I don't know if Reborn is being immersed because she's... or now she's been spotted so she has to move. Oh, that was a bit of a laggy lunge from Costco right there. He didn't get affected by that. Oh, but Reborn stumbled right into the trap and takes a hit. She goes down. No Phantasm attack bonus, so. Purple working a generator right by a harvest in a row. Oh, Reborn got free. I think it was Mikkel with a flashlight say. So Mikkel has found a spooky flashlight somewhere. Costco went for a lunge expecting Mikkel to be hiding right behind the pallet, but no, he was much further away than that. Jimmy and uh, Mikkel reunite to work on the generator. It seems like Reborn is cleansing a totem very close by. Purple's still working the harvester generator by himself. And he spots Jimmy does Costco, who takes a hit. Jimmy's taunting him, saying, come here, let's have some fun. 
I was the thing about these jungle gyms. You can peer, you can peer between the um, between the gaps in the the wood, and you can sort of see where the survivor is or where the killer is, depending on which perspective you're playing from. So it's actually a little bit easier as a survivor to sort of outmaneuver a killer because of that. There are other maps you have solid walls where you can only really gain, gauge on like the red stain or just evaluating it based on what you know, but Jimmy goes down, and here comes Mikkel again, ready for the flashlight save, but misses it. And Costco was running away from the hook, only to hear that the re Reborn was trying to sabotage it with a toolbox. They've got the gen right next to Jimmy at 99 as well. And they do rescue Jimmy who right Well actually Costco is very close by to him. He went for the to bash in the gen rather than place any immediate pressure on the survivors. And I feel like he probably should have would have been better off placing immediate pressure, because that gen's already at 99. If they want to pop it, they'll pop it. And there's still three generators remaining, but I don't know about this one. It kind of feels like Costco hasn't really made any particular game plan in terms of holding down a certain part of the map or making a defensive strategy because the hag is such a killer where it's really best to play her defensively she's not really one where you can roam around a map or be ultra aggressive all the time oh and Mikkel tried baiting it but I think he had a bit too much distance to try a bait okay so I'm not taking a hit and that's another phantasm attack landing on Jimmy so, uh, whilst Costco may not have a particular strategy in mind, he is at least spreading the love when he can. Reborn using that toolbox to go and sabotage hooks for some extra boldness points. She is more of an immersive type of survivor. She doesn't really particularly enjoy being chased. Uh, she'd rather hide in the bushes or hide behind corners and objects and rather avoid any real interaction with the killer as she can help it. So that toolbox kind of does suit her style when it comes to garnering boldness points. Mikkel is on his first hook. Jimmy is uh, motoring away on that generator, albeit but on his lonesome. It is the one uh, in the corner, uh, sort of like behind the shack in a sense. Again, Reborn's trying to be immersive, but she's in real danger of being spotted here, especially if Mikkel leads her, leads Costco towards her. Reborn's cleansing more totems. Again, she's getting boldness in every way she can, except for engaging with the killer. Oh, and Mikkel just got snagged before he could reach the pallet in time. But Costco's not going for it. He's very conscious of the possibility that someone will be waiting nearby to uh, put that pallet down on his head and save Mikkel. But he's found Jimmy. And whilst uh, Mikkel is lying on the ground, Jimmy is injured as well. And Jimmy was straight up using the pallet there, not even attempting to do much of a loop at all. And, oof. It looked as though he could have caught up to Jimmy if he just made the right moves. And looks like Purple's going to pop this gen. Actually... Okay, this time he's 99 them, but I remember, I think it was in Grim Pantry, where it was either Purple or it was someone else who was actually just completing the gens without bothering to 99 them. So maybe this game is uh, trying a different approach, who knows. Reborn searching a chest, uh, while her toolbox is almost completely gone and de depleted of any charge. But she's found an emergency med kit, and she swaps, <laughs> she leaves them to the toolbox for Miguel. He realizes there's nothing there, so Mikkel 
takes back his trusty uh, spooky flashlight. Jimmy, on the other hand, well, there's a there's a trap right there, but he was unperturbed by that. Just carried on working his generator. All three of them working the same generator. What is Costco up to at the moment, then? He's just setting more traps. But look at the generator spread. He's just come run away from one now. There's two more on the opposite side. He doesn't have a real generator strategy whatsoever, and that's what I was referring to earlier. He's The survivors are pretty much pop the most vital gens and and done so um, by depriving Costco of any generator strategy he could use to prolong the game in his favor. So I think Costco's really in a rush against time here just to get as many points as he can. He's, I mean, I would say at this point, there's no, no real like benefit to bashing in generators. He just needs to act more hastily towards chasing the survivors, pursuing them, and just getting them down on the ground. Oh, oh he almost got hit on the kill there. And does get one there before he can reach a pallet in time. Jimmy's still injured. But this is the problem with playing the hag. She's the one of the killers you absolutely cannot afford to be looped around pallets or jungle gyms. Because your time is just too precious. And because, uh, unless you're using your phantasms to, to teleport around, you're one of the least mobile killers in the game. And Mikel, although he's injured, he's one hit away from being down. He's very close to uh, wasting a lot of time, except Costco probably wisely opts to switch targets and goes for purple instead. And Mikel has gone away from there. And I think purple may have... Yeah, he, he kind of left himself in an area where he had nothing... Of real benefit, and Mikel was looming nearby, and he might go down. Oh, he does go down, and he's the one with the flashlight. So Costco's actually making the right play here. He's downing people when it's better to do so. As Reborn right there. Oh, he gets a hit on Reborn. That's Mikel's second hook. And now he gets uh, purple and picks him up. And Costco is opting for a hook that's much further away, despite the fact that he just looked back to see Mikel being freed. I do not understand that decision. He had a great opportunity to get a much closer and quicker hook and apply instant pressure to the other survivors who were all there. He's just given up quite a hell of an opportunity there as Costco. And now he thinks of the survivors there. He's run past Reborn. Well, her immersion has helped her this time. Or at least for this time being. But, oh, she, she started moving a little too soon. And... Phantasm Trap was set off. He does get Purple down eventually after the second time of trying. And now after... Uh, Mikkel, or was, considering it. Mikkel was there, he's just... He wants those flashlight saves. <laughs> yep. See, Mikkel keeps on going back as he wants them. And this is going to be a constant back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Except Mikkel's not close enough this time. He's ran well away. And that's Purple's second hook, so both Mikel and Purple are on their death hooks. And oh, Jimmy practically almost farmed him, except Jimmy took the hit, even though Costco, you could tell from his view, was trying to aim that at um, Purple. And it seems like Costco's... Costco didn't realise he was constantly being looped by Reborn, so opted to run straight ahead instead of actually going for her. 
And now they're popping the gems. Well, Rebon's getting them to 99. But Purple is in real trouble here because if he gets caught, and he's on a short part as well, an unsafe one at that. He's got nowhere to go, he goes down. And Costco's already got max boldness. Sorry, he's got max hunter and brutality points. But he just, he's not opting to kill Purple just yet. He still thinks that there's someone in the area. And maybe he's conscious of, um... He's probably, like, anxious that Mikkel is in the area with that flashlight. Now, Jimmy and Mikkel both injured. Reborn is fully healthy, and she knows where the hatch is. She's going straight for one of the exit gates. And he finds Mikkel! Now, he's got to be careful here. Oh, but he goes down! He tried baiting him in the corn, um, but I think he probably misjudged the distance a little bit. Obviously, Mikkel is a filler for this game as a survivor, so his score doesn't really matter too much. That is Mikkel dead. That is an extra kill and extra sacrifice points for Costco, which could help him a hell of a lot. Now, they have got one gate open. Uh, seems like they're probably going to go for the other gate. They just want to get some extra objective points. So, Reborn is st staying put and waiting... Well, was staying put by the hatch. Except they've got to be very careful because... Yeah, he takes a Phantasm attack, so... More Devious points for Costco. Jimmy leaves, and Reborn is not near the hatch. Um, it looks like she's about to make it, though. Oh, she leaves the emergency med kit as memento for Costco, and then makes her way out. And that is the first round of... Game 19, where we had Jimmy scoring 26,736 points, Reborn with 19,315, Purple with 19,127, and Mikhail with 18,760, with Costco with his hag scoring 26,750 points. So that's not a bad score for Costco. But obviously, um, we have seen much higher scores and performances from um, other hags. I mean, we've seen a couple of them, like 31.4k, and we saw Apexes yesterday that was against pretty stern uh, resistance from the survivors, so... So, of course, Rixer is a survivor player normally, and he's filling in as a killer, and he opts for the Trapper. So this will be an interesting choice. I have to be honest, if I was ever, ever considering playing Trapper myself as a killer during this league season, this would probably be the one map where I'd save him for, because it's one of the smallest maps in the game. There are plenty of grassy patches, and you don't have to go that far to cover ground on a map like this. And because a generator spread is actually quite handy for killers in general, so it's even better for killers such as the Trapper or the Hag. And Purple, looking for the killer, finds him and takes a machete to the face for it. Um, I think Purple's just being a little bit too eager there. And places a pallet down pretty early. Saying screw conservatism to that in the process. And, and now Purple is starting to loop him around the shack. Oh! I think he missed time. That pallet stun. He got the stun, but get got struck down for it as well. Jimmy and Mikkel are working the generator together. Reborn is working one on her own. But she's found a yellow med kit somewhere. And the basement is not there. It's in the abattoir. So Purple goes on the corner hook outside the shack. Of course, Purple knows where that trap's being set. So he's got no real way 
of verbally telling them, or telling the other survivors that there's a trap there. Hell, he's not even under any real obligation to tell them there's there. He could wait for someone to run into that trap and just be there to profit from the 1,000 altruism points for rescue. The question is, does is Rixa actually playing trap with any sort of game plan in mind, or is he just running around the map, placing traps wherever he pleases, all la da and just hitting whoever comes up first? Oh, and he notices Jimmy and went for the lunge, but Jimmy put down the pallet in time and gets the stun. And it looks like Jimmy's going to reach this one too. Or, well, yeah, he's actually managed to prolong the loop it's a bit more. Oh, tried going for the reverse part stun, didn't work and took a hit. But he will take the 1,000 bonus points gladly, reborn cleansing totems, just as she did in the first game. And Rick's are placing a trap in a unusual spot, then again, it's not that uncommon that sometimes traps do end up trapping people when in place in unusual spots they don't expect. So Mikhail saw it and he straights up disarms it. Purple solo working a generator next to the harvester. Uh, judging by that ore, it doesn't look as though Rix is that far away. I think you can hear the generator being worked, and yes, he's coming around. And they both spot him. Doesn't seem like Rix has sort of kept track of where they are, though. Has found Reborn, though, and got a hit, too. And now Reborn's trying to loop him around the shack, realising that someone's already used the, um, the pallet there. And he's also found Purple, too. But I think Reborn might have mistimed this. And she has! She takes a hit before she can reach the pallet. But she... Uh, Rixa does not want the to go for the pickup just yet. He knows that Purple's looming very close by. And Purple takes a hit, but does not waste the pallet. Even though he could have used it there for the stun, but that would have actually helped Rix recover. And he gets the stun nicely timed there by Purple. Clay's on ground, but he's gonna run into the trap! And can he get himself out? No, and... Rixa grabs him and gets the extra devious points, and the other two survivors are helping Reborn up on her feet. Great trap, though, by Rixa. It's the first trap to finally catch someone out this game. And that's actually Purple's second hook. Did he actually catch a glimpse of a survivor there and just didn't register it? Because I'm fairly certain he... Oh! Great, uh, that must have been a vacuum pallet because I was so sure he was about to take that hit from his view. And Jimmy, he's very close to that trap. He probably doesn't realize it. Oh, Jimmy's so close again, that trap. And Reborn goes down. And this time there is no pallet nearby for her to crawl under. No support, no... I don't even think there's... A, is there a single flashlight? Mikkel's got a mechanics toolbox from somewhere. Reborn's got a yellow med kit, so unless the other item hasn't been found yet, or it's already been used, then... There is still... well, there's still another item, I think, to be found somewhere. And it seems like Rix is now giving chase and focusing his sights on Mikkel. Who is looping him around this uh, little tractor here. And he decides to say, screw this, I'm placing a trap right here. Oh, and Jimmy's about to run into another trap! Jimmy is a real, he's being a trap magnet this round. Ah! 
and Raquel holding off the Rook rescue so that he makes Jimmy go the long, makes uh, sorry, makes Rick go the long way around. That saves Jimmy's first hook. Sorry, I believe it was purple who was the first trap, so I take back what I said regarding um, Jimmy being the trap. <laughs> Oh, great stun there by Cal. Rexar, I think, was a little bit over optimistic there with his lunge. Mikael's still being chased by the sense of it, and yes, he has. He looks behind uh, to see that Rixer is not giving up. There's no pallet there, though. And has Mikael miscalculated there? Is he going to take a hit? Oh, he tried a 360 juke, but. He followed it. Jimmy gets caught in another trap somewhere. I just noticed in the hub then. And Mikael put down the power for safety, but uh, Rixer did not try lunge this time, so it didn't go get stung. And Reborn knew that the trap was there and disarms it. I wish she knew, or she's just very conscious, because Reborn has a tends to have a habit of running into traps during rank pugs against trappers. It seems like the Kel... Don't know if he got a stun or not, because Rixa was busy bashing down a pallet. But Mikel has made up more ground, but still Rix is going after him. This is quite a lengthy chase. They have got a gen to 99. Still three gens to be popped, but... Um, I don't particularly notice Ricks are going for any real generator strategy. He's just in a sort of phase of the game at the moment where he's just bashing in a lot of generators. And Jimmy is taking a weird angle there. I don't know. Is the the other window's not open and Jimmy's trapped? And actually, this, the abattoir is where the basement is. And Rix has taken them there. He's also got a spare trap in the room to his right. Now this is a real problem because this is Jimmy's second hook. So not only are they going to have to be hasty about rescuing him, they've also got to do it by going into the basement in the middle of the map. Against a trapper who could, if he knows what he's doing, could have a real advantage here. So he does go and pick up that spare trap. It seems like he's going to use it for the window, or no, actually, no, he's opting to not do it for the window. He probably knows that the window is going to be an obvious spot and it's going to get disarmed. For that, I can totally understand that. But when he was going through that window, it almost gave me the impression, at least, that he was thinking about trapping it. He had to place a trap at the bottom of the steps, so... <gasps> a purple ran into it! Purple wanted to go in and assist with the double heal when Reborn was already attending to uh, Jimmy. Now they're having to double heal him. There's three, three survivors in the basement. And Jimmy needs to be oh so careful because he's on his death hook. Reborn takes a hit. And Rick so gets a hit on Purple as well. Purple and Jimmy both on death hooks. So Reborn and Jimmy have reunited to heal each other, but I think the I think Rix's trapper is not too far ahead of them, and I think Purple he's doing a great job here trying to lay Rixer, but I think he might be caught out on this one. No, he just narrowly avoids that hit. Tries a 360 juke did not work, and now I think the survivors have to consider popping generators because that is Jimmy's death. Sorry, that, yeah, that is Purple's death hook. Pop a generator there. Jimmy is running to pop one gen there. Reborn. And Mikel. Mikel's leaving it at 99. He's not ready to pop it yet himself. 
There's still a generator that has been fully regressed, actually. Mikel... They're both working on it, uh, Mikel and Reborn, and it seems like... Jimmy could have popped it there if he wanted to. Seems like he's chasing someone else. Oh no, and is Jimmy spotted? Has he been spotted? Rixa did not notice that. Rixa did not notice um, Jimmy get entering the closet and closing the door. What a lucky break. I don't know, it looked from my view as if as if Rixa could have noticed that. Oh, Mikel tried... He tried testing Rixa on how much he respected pallets, but Rixa kind of made a... a nice push, but he got a nice pass on there, delays him more on unsafe pallet, and makes distance. Mikel already got max boldness points quite easily. Jimmy and Reborn working this gen together, this last one that is probably the only one not 99%. Rick's are saying, well, traps, the hatch is there. Oh, where is that? Well, they pop the gen at least. There's the exit gate right there. And Mikel's running for the other one. It looks as though he's going to try and... delay Jimmy and Reborn if Reborn is still there. Where is Reborn? Looks like she's running for the other gate. And Jimmy's been caught in a trap! Oh, no, he's been caught in the one that was... Just outside the shack, the window. Reborn is healing up a Kel. Maybe Reborn, in hindsight, did the smartest thing there by actually running away, because she too could have got herself caught in that. Although I'm pretty sure Jimmy would not appreciate her completely vacating the area. Are living into his death with the possibility of a trap by the shack window. Mikel is searching for a chest with Rixa not too far away. Rixa seemingly cannot hear the chest being looted through, and he's by the other exit. Mikel has found a flashlight at this at the end stage of the game. They're just making sure not to be seen, well at least Mikel is, but R Rixa has long since passed. And that other gate's actually not open, of course, because Jimmy was the one trying to open it, and, well, he got killed trying to avoid Rixa. Reborn is going for the gate herself. Can she get it in time? Or is Rixa even... Rixa's not close enough. And Reborn's just heading straight out. I mean, Mikel... I don't know if he's... He might be close enough to the hatch actually make a run, but Rix is placing a trap and Mik Mikkel knows where it is. Now Mikkel doesn't really need to disarm it because he's already got max boldness points. But I... Mm, he was thinking of it. He needs to be careful about how he does this though because... If he ends up accidentally waltzing into a trap, that would look pretty bad. And he gets the hit, but doesn't bother trying to camp the hatch or anything like that. And that is the end of that round. And so we have Mikkel getting the top score of 26,165 points, Reborn with 23,256. Jimmy with 17,473 and Purple with 15,697. Rex's score as Trapper being 27,064 points.
These guys have got their uh, they've got their shit together, that's for sure. So we are on Rancid up to our Schnar's still gonna opt for Freddy. And it seems like he's well, he's between Shaq and uh, the Abattoir. He's found Mikel first. And so Mikel has been brought into the dream world. Purple and Jimmy working for the same generator. It seems like Reborn's found them and is going to join them. Mikel has been hit though. Now this is a quite a good this um, Freddy could be quite a strong pick for this map. Again, it's small, it's um you know, he has a lot more potential here because of the size of the map to create more mayhem and drag more people into the dream world and really slow them down. So it, it's kind of like the doctor in the same sense, like he's got more range to cover with his terror radius. He could cover more Oh, and Mikel tried juking him, but goes down eventually. He tried a closet juke as well, which was great. It did work, but it temporarily. So Mikel's going to be the first one to be hooked, and again, the other three survivors working as a unit, generator by generator. Mikel is the first one to be hooked. They're going to get this other generator done pretty quickly, though, because Mikel is the other side of the map, although he is making his way over there, is um, Schnarr. Who has he found? Oh, he's just about stopped them. I think they left it at 99 anyway. And <laughs> I, who was that? Was that Reborn placing the pallet down just as she entered the dream world? Oh, that wasn't Reborn, sorry, that was purple. Purple's changed to a Meg. He used to play as the Claudette before. Now, from what I've I myself have gathered from playing as Freddy is it's kind of just like the Wraith in a sense. You wanna you're you're obviously invisible. You're difficult to spot at first. You can only hear the little girl humming as a way of knowing that he's there. But you wanna spread the love as much as possible. And for that, you have to be getting lots of people into the dream world. You slow them down more by doing that anyway. So playing Freddy is like, you know, if you know how to play the Ray from the Doctor, then and you're strong with both of them, then you should be strong with Freddy too, no question. Gets a great lunge on Purple the Schnar. Takes a part stun for it though, but it's a critical hit considering the Purple's just been looping him non-stop. Reborn and Mikel working a generator together, leaving it at 99. And he's found Reborn and Mikel both. He's dragging them both into the dream world. He's doing exactly what he should be doing, which is spraying the love, spraying Dove down. But he's trying to go for a hit when Mikel was not fully brought into the dream state. And that's the one thing, like, you, you don't really want to mistime your hit there because... I've been caught out a couple of times myself doing that, and it's really annoying. You lose a lot of time by trying to swing a little too early. And Reborn takes a hit. I think Mikel was the one being chased, but somehow Reborn managed to emerge back uh, in Schnar's view. And where is she going to go? Tries to be a bit uh, swaying from one side to another, but didn't really work. And is someone... No, no one was actually having a flashlight. I thought someone was going to try a flashlight save, but for that to actually happen, I think uh, someone would have to be in the dream state. Oh, Mikel has been spotted and put into the dream... into the dream world. I think he gets reborn off the hook. Oh, was that him? No, I think that was... No, it was Jimmy who did that. But Jimmy's now been dragged into the dream world, and... He's now trying to get Reborn into the dream world as well. And for some reason... He didn't stop... Um, I think Jimmy that was there was waiting by the pallet. Could have stopped them. 
from getting to Reborn, but didn't. And Jimmy's just pointing to Reborn, saying, crawl to the pallet, crawl to the pallet. But it doesn't look directly underneath the pallet, but... Oh, it gets... Uh, that's the thing where she's... Uh, okay, Jimmy has got Reborn out of the dream state. Oh, and Schnarr did not have a long enough lunge to get to Mikkel. But realises that Mikkel is probably going to try the pallet stun there. And Purple... They're all trying to heal each other in a freeway. By waking up Jimmy first, they're finally getting the hang of it. And they can't coordinate a simple double heal. <laughs> it's essentially... It's, and now they've been found again. After all that trouble. And Jimmy wrongs... Uh, he sort of runs in the wrong way and ends up going into a corner and taking a free hit. And someone failed a skill check just in time to get themselves out of a dream state. I don't know who that was. I think it... Obviously it had to have been uh, Mikkel. Oh, Schnarr missed a hit there. It's too far away. There is a part that already great stun by Purple. Jimmy is waking up. Um, reborn. But what's weird is that even though Jimmy is actually awake, he's still got that aura that looks as though uh, he can be hit by Freddy. As does Reborn. Purple is now being picked up. He was downed at some point. I think there's an audio glitch going on. We constantly hear this girl humming, even though we're cycling through views where... Look, he's the other side of the map. For some reason, though, we can still hear the humming. Okay, so that's a... That's an awesome spectator glitch right there. Purple's... Uh, it was only his first hook, so he's still got plenty of meat on him. Mikkel uh, using a toolbox to repair the generator in the middle of the avatar on his own. Um, looks like Reborn... He's going to go for the hook rescue, but Schnarr is not that far behind, and there's three of them there. And they're all going to be there. They're going to try and get the double heal, but that's three survivors. That is, that is quite a menu for a Schnarr to choose from. He's got the starters, the main course, and dessert all in one. But I think he's opted for just the starters. And maybe the main course in considering it. I mean, he's not that peckish at the moment. And just allowing himself to be looped again by Mikkel, who almost... I don't know if, from that view if he was uh, caught on something or if he was just baiting him. But time that pilot stun brilliantly. Schnell went for the lunge. He just fell right into that stun. And Schnarr has found Jimmy, who was actually working on a generator at 99%. And what on earth happened there? Okay, I didn't know what was happening before that, and then that hit happened. Like, Jimmy just vaulted over to Schnarr's side and took a hit. What? I can't even explain what I just saw there. I don't know if there's some serious, like, latency issues going on, but the last gen has been popped. It seems like Jimmy has managed to break free of, uh, Schnarr. And this has been a quite quick game, actually. It seems like the survivors haven't been taking up too much time 
with this game compared to the others. They've just thought, oh, crisis, Freddy, let's just get this over and done with. Sounds like a gate's about to be open. Uh, Jimmy is still dreaming while Mikel is unlocking the gate. Reborn is now going to the other gate that's yet to be opened. So halfway through. He's going to wake up uh, Purple. Going to heal him first before opening the gate, surprisingly. Uh, it seems like Shinola has caught back up to Jimmy. Oh, and Mr. Lunge was too far away and then serves himself up for a pallet stun. And Mikel also uh, having some nightmares. Wants uh, to wake up with Reborn right in his face by the looks of it. And Reborn is entering the basement. So, yeah, she probably didn't know that the ice, the chest is already looted. She's making her way out, that's fine. Is Schnarr actually chasing anyone at the moment? Yes, he is, but who? He's still chasing Jimmy, who's always finding parts to go from. It takes a hit, as well as getting a stun. But is Jimmy close enough to an open gate, I wonder? He is. I think he's going to make it. Oh, is he, though? Is he? Seems like Jimmy's gonna make it. Oh, he's got the option of uh, getting to the other side of the map. He really wants Jimmy. <laughs> oh no, but that might be. There's no part there. He got the stun, but he didn't get it when it mattered. And Jimmy's taking a hit. And the basement's not far behind either. He can... No, he's gone the wrong way for the... Oh. Shinar had an opportunity to drag this out. Unless... Unless Jimmy is dead on this hook. No, that's Jimmy's first hook. And he gets rescued. That's one of the downsides of playing... Um... Freddy. Like, as soon as someone is hooked, you can't really... If you even had the intention of camping or tunneling them, you can't really do that effectively. Once they're off, you know, as soon as they're placed on the hook, they're out of a dream world. Jimmy has been brought back into it, by the looks of it. And Mikel, oh, he was at enough distance to avoid being hit there by the lunge. It seems like Schnarr's uh, probably more frustrated by the length of his... Uh, of his mental cores more than anything else. He's placing both those survivors in the dream state. Oh, and he gets a hit on Jimmy. Nice hit. But I feel like Jimmy has... Reborn, I think, is just going to be trying to run for the other exit gate instead of going for that one. However, like, I don't think he's going to make this. Yes, he is. Well, he's going to get the hit, but I don't think that's going to matter because even though he's got still needs brutality points, he's already got Max Devers' points. I think the survivor's just bailing out now. Yep. And where does that leave Purple? Purple's just looking for the hatch, by the looks of it. This is risky, because Snark can see his aura. He's heading straight to him. And all of a sudden, he's there.
purple needs to be careful. And Schnarl's just trying for lunges when he's not close enough. Oh, I think that might have been a mistake on Purple's part. I don't think... Is there a pallet here? No, there isn't. Purple's got to try a juke. He does. But, oh no, he's denied to stand outside the exit gate. Purple tried being a little bit too greedy for the hatch, not being able to find it, and looking for it while he was in the dream state. And even though Schnarr had trouble trying to down him, he did eventually succeed, and well, Schnarr's going to get one kill out of this. That was only Purple's second hook as well. So, uh, probably a good thing that Schnarr took the initiative by testing out a killer that he wasn't going to play, or didn't originally intend on playing at the very least for his round 5 game. Top score of that game is uh, 26,383 points uh, at the hands of Jimmy. Reborn is 21,722. Mikel is 17,034, Purple with 14,810, Schnarr only making it with 25,762 points. And Red has opted to go for the nurse on a farm map. Interesting. I mean, Red typically doesn't associate as a killer main herself, and she has said she's not that confident about it, and there she finds Mikkel and tries a blink, but she was not close enough. So is she considering playing Nurse uh, in her actual game in about two hours from now, I wonder? Reborn searching through the chest, and Red has found... Um, I believe that's purple? It must be purple, yeah, but she tried a very short blink. And it seems like she's having trouble hooking up her blinks at the moment. And she can see a couple of people there by the generator. Spot Mikel, I think. And he gets she gets a hit on Mikel. So that's one to start it off. She goes a little bit too far into the building. Oh, but cuts off Mikel nicely. He was just waiting by the pallet there. And I think she can get to it. Yeah, she can. She can pick him up without being stunned by the pallet. I don't think the doesn't seem like the basement's there in the abattoir, so she's just going to take him to a hook. Jimmy and Purple both are working different generators by the sounds of it. Uh, Red has walked away from the area. Red, I think Reborn is going to get the hook rescue, and she does. Reborn's found a yellow toolbox in the basement chest. And Jimmy's taunting Red. But uh, Red, she seems to be a little bit too feisty on the trigger and erratic as soon as she ends her blinks. And Purple popping a chest right in front of uh, Right in front of Red there. Jimmy working on another generator. Mikkel and Reborn, I think, work. No, just Mikkel working on one of his own. Reborn's running around. Oh, what a great hit! It was another erratic lunge, but she pointed it in the correct direction and just landed that hit with the tip of her blade. Oh, the basement is in the abattoir. She could have actually got Mikkel in the, in the basement. Well, that's kind of a squandered opportunity for Red, because you got the basement in the abattoir as a nurse. That's a really, that's a real golden opportunity to work on there. Now, Red needs to be careful because whether she knows it or not, um, 
Nurses hate harvesters. I really hate them. And she thinks she's being looped. Reborn is cleansing a totem. Red did not spot it, didn't even hear it. He, she's just bashing in generators. And this is the problem. If you're not confident with Nurse and you, you struggle to see things such as like visibility for corn, then it can wreak havoc on players who lack a sufficient experience of a killer such as an art. And again, she tried to lunge there, but wasn't close enough. Reborn takes a hit, though. And Reborn tried to put down a pallet to keep safe distance, but wasn't safe enough against the nurse, and uh, she kind of made that rather simple for Red. But the survivors are not really wasting any time in terms of um, getting stuff done with the generators, except these two survivors here. And what's, I think Red was very close to, to taking a peep in that closet. Oh, and Mikkel's been spotted. He tried being immersed. Purple gets the hook rescue. And Red just cannot get them the landing blink. Oh no! That first blink was enough, but she looked in the wrong direction and was holding down for the second blink. Oh, she could have had a simple down there on, on Mikkel. There goes another generator. And again, she's been very quick to, to press M1 as soon as the second blink ends. And if you do that, you don't always gauge where exactly you've landed or where you're looking, in which direction you're looking in. Oh! Maybe if she actually pressed M1 sooner at that occasion, she might have just landed the hit. But again, that would have been erratic. And lands right on top of purple for a nice hit there. Oh, it was a nice prediction blink, but she didn't. She didn't stop to see where purple was. Oh, purple tried. I don't know if he tried being immersive or just misjudged it completely there. Um, is red going to try and take him to the base? No, he's not going to try and take him to the base. But there is a quicker hook there, though. I mean, in terms of speed and time efficiency, that is probably the best option, but... She's losing map control quite considerably, is Red. I mean, the survivors have got the control in terms of the generators. Oh, and because a great hit on Mikkel, realising at the last second that he was there. And if he got, she got Mikkel down there, she could have made a great play on that. And I think she's just too confused. Mikkel's actually made it to the other side of the... Oh, but someone failed a skill check healing up there. There's two people injured. And who did Red try going for? Was that... Um, was that purple? It was. And Purple's actually doing a good job of outmaneuvering her. Reborn finds Mikkel and gets some heals. Um, Red is, well, has locked on again to Purple.
And it's almost like she doesn't know where she wants to go. She saw a survivor there in her view briefly, but didn't acknowledge her. It might have well have been purple, actually. And that's the thing, when you're playing killer, you've got to be so responsive to every little slight visual and audio clue that you come across. But gets purple down. Now purple is uh, lying underneath her pallet. Red is not going to try and get out, and it's a wise decision because Mikkel was right there. Went for Mikkel, but spotted Jimmy and tried going for the lunge on him instead. And he's, she's gone the wrong way. Even I could see Jimmy there to her right. And she went left instead. But finds Mikkel. It gets purple down again. Purple's run away from the pallet, though. Uh, Mikkel injured. Jimmy is cleansing a totem. That's purple dead. Now, will the other survivors consider... Oh, she grabbed Jimmy off the totem! Jimmy tried committing to the totem cleanse and got it to 99! But he was still on it for too long. And that's an easy hook. That's Jimmy's first hook, but I think after the game Red's had, she'll gladly take that. Now, Reborn is currently operating a generator on her own. Mikkel is still looking for either someone to heal him or to go for a hook rescue. And someone did indeed, uh... She probably could have done about being a little bit closer. She tried going for a lunge when she was nowhere near the survivors. And she's only just reached about 5k deviousness. And the generator, the last generator has been popped, so the exit gate's been powered up. Who is she gonna go for now? Which gate is she gonna go to? Seems like she's going to the one Mikkel's going for, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, she is. But Mikkel's still there, she just can't hear him, can't hear where he is. Now she's spotted him again. But she's trying to, to follow him as if she was playing a normal orthodox killer for movement. And she just isn't. I, she's lost track of him completely. Oh, no, found him again, and gets him down! Now, is she just going to go for the quickest hook or the easiest one she can find? Yes, she does. But Reborn, I think, is getting the other gate open. And she does. And that's Mikkel's second hook. Jimmy, on the other hand, is coming up for the hook rescue, but opts not to go for it. Jimmy takes a hit. Now, who is she going for? Is she going for Mikkel? Oh, Mikkel almost ran into her. I tried going for a lunge, but I think that was a little bit optimistic. And I think she's lost track of all the survivors now. And she's blinked past Reborn. This is actually one bit where Reborn's immersion is helping her, but... Oh, she's blinked past Jimmy! And Mikkel! Jimmy's just running for the other gate. And she spotted Mikkel. Reborn's just cleansing more totems. 
She hasn't got 8k boldness yet, and well, actually, Red's just busy bashing pallets. I mean, she needs more bolt. I mean, it's more brutality, fair enough, but. She could get a lot more brutality if she just successfully latches on to an injured survivor and downs them. She can make a play from that, but the other survivors are grouped up, they're all healing each other. And Red is nowhere to be seen. Only does the terror radius kick in and... Oh, she's spoiling now. And if she had just only blinked once, she could have got that hit. Reborn's still hiding in that little spot. And Jimmy, I think, made the wrong run back. Wrong time as well. Gets a great hit on Mikel. But... He... Although Mikel is on his death hook here. He needs to be careful. He's not that close to an Exegate either. Oh, and he made a great run. And Red being too erratic again. Red's... She's way too trigger happy with the, the hits as soon as a blink ends. She doesn't fully register where she's looking. And it's it's cost her a hell of a lot of time and in turn costs her points too. And then she gets in a panic because she doesn't know where to look or where to go as soon as she loses track or any clues of where the survivors are running away from to. <laughs> So Reborn heals up Mikel. Jimmy is still running around injured. And Jimmy looks as though he's... Well, he's nearby an open exit. But Red isn't really f having much success finding survivors. She's just warping around from gate to gate. She does see scratch marks in her view, but whether she acknowledges them, now she's starting to acknowledge them, I think. She's found, um, Jimmy. She's got max three hunter points. And is she trying a devious play here? She did try a devious play, it didn't really work out. I mean, her initial thought was go for Jimmy, then she spotted Mikel and tried a sort of staring contest that didn't really work out in her favour. And she's just running around in a loop now, she's not even blinking. And yeah, the second blink, she only sort of tapped that, to be honest. She didn't really hold it down enough. She needs to try and go for a, a, a blink here. She needs the devious points and the brutality points. This is doing nothing for her. I mean, as a nurse, you're kind of... Ooh! She almost caught out Jimmy there on the run back. And uh, Mikhail put down the pallet in time, gets a great pallet stun. I mean, I'm pretty sure these survivors don't really have much need to be in the game any longer. Ooh. 
Jimmy's left. Um, now is reborn around there because she's waiting for Hatch or? I kind of sense Mikkel was there, but she's in... she hasn't noticed a shadow either around the corner. She's not really looking around enough when blinking. Mikel, I don't know if he's... Has he already got 8k bonus points? Reborn is just hiding in a closet. So Reborn has made it out, and I think Mikkel is just sitting around for the hatch. And Mikkel is just uh, leaving. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think that game went on a little too long at the end. That's kind of uh, against a certain new policy of ours. So that definitely will be discussed with the admins and the moderators. But um, anyway, 26,082 points for Jimmy, who uh, was uh, actually not one of the latest ones to go. Reborn at 25,250 points. Mikkel's 24,390 points. And Purple's 9,313 points. But anyway, that's the conclusion of game 19. Um, thank you for tuning in, guys. Be sure to be around for uh, game 20, which is starting in about an hour and a half from now. Whoever is streaming that game, it will be here on twitch.tv uh, forward slash maverick underscore warriors. And until then, thanks for tuning in and see you later.